like I said, it's not a policy issue. It's not a life skills issue. It's not a life orientation issue. It's it's an information and awareness education issue. Most of the teenagers that get pregnant, since I'm a life science educator, I can pick it up when I teach reproduction. The problem is basically most of them are either unaware or the worst type of information about contraceptives. That is the biggest issue because yes, you can preach abstinence, but abstinence is all down to the individual as a decision. But where you can intervene is what they do after they've made the decision to take part in sexual activity. So the one thing that you can do is actually teach them that you can protect yourself either from disease or from getting pregnant. And the only way you can do that is basically remove all of this myth. We are an African nation, so we have the tendency to pass on stories very easily. And sometimes in those stories we have myths like the drinking of coke to prevent pregnancy. So you have to debunk that. You need to teach a child that there's a difference between a digestive system and a reproductive system. It doesn't matter what you put into, into your mouth. There's no way it can just directly affect your ovaries. Most of them think that taking an injection can change your, your body weight. They just don't understand that what does the injection actually do. You gain weight because the injection tricks your body into thinking you're pregnant. So definitely eat for two people before you gain weight. So it's all about educating them and then you end up with a situation where you're not just addressing the issue but you're preventing the issue and then preventing the issue the issue is pregnancy the output the product so if you can come up with a, a curriculum where someone in life sciences in grade 12 and LO can go down to GET because the problem messes itself in FET grade 10 so which means address the grade 8 and 9, teach them about contraceptives. Don't let them find out about contraceptives after they're pregnant. When they're pregnant now, that's a policy issue. As an educator, to be honest with you, there's nothing you can do besides ensure that they still get a decent enough education, the product, so that they're pregnant. But in terms of what I'm saying is, you can prevent it by educating them. And how do you do that? you take parents into a school. Like honestly, my, my view of school is this. It should be compulsory for parents that register a child in the school to volunteer two days in a year in that school. Talk to children, be there. Because the teacher is an expert in knowledge, not parenting, but the parent is an expert in parenting. So combine the two, knowledge of how contraceptives works, the parent who's an expert in bringing up an individual, have a meeting where the parent and the educators talk to the girls, talk to the boys, educate them. Surely that can help. Okay, let's assume now, what do you do as a school? I'll tell you what the school does in my view of it. The school, where I'm from, depending on where, how far along they are in the pregnancy, if it's still early on, they do allow them to write exams. But it is your policy, the parent needs to be there or a legal guardian just in case anything happens. But my view on it is, is like I said, get the parent, get the, the teacher there. Talk to that, to that girl who's pregnant. What's more important, the health of a baby that's still developing or an exam you can retake at any point in life.